Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about area of 2D shapes. So we're going to start off with a rectangle. If you were asked to work out the, rec the area of this rectangle, you would use the formula which is area of a rectangle equals base times height. Now you do have to remember that formula and if you do remember it then it makes the next bit pretty easy. You just can write area equals the base, so the base here is 7 and the height is 3. And then just work out 7 times 3 which is 21 and the units here are centimeters squared or square centimeters. So there we go, that's area of a rectangle. And finding the area of a square is the same kind of thing, you just do base times height. So that would be about a level 4 question. If you wanted a level 5 you'd need to find the area of a triangle. So let's see, if we had a triangle here and the dimensions were say 8 centimeters on the base, 10 centimeters the height, and let's say this distance here, sloped distance is 13 centimeters. Okay, so now you need to, again to remember the formula for area of a triangle, which is base times height divide by 2. Or, if you want to write it a different way, you can write it as base times height divide by 2 like this. Or, some people write it as a half times base times height. Either one of those is fine, as long as you just remember to half it or divide by 2, same thing. So I'm going to stick with this one but you can use any of those versions. So the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So the base is 8. The height is now, is it 10 or 13? Well, we have to use always the vertical height, the vertical one up here. So in this case, it would be the 10, and then divide by 2. So actually, for the area, we don't need this height here. We don't need the 13 centimetres. Sometimes it's given uh, just to try and confuse you, or sometimes you, you're given it because you need to work out the perimeter. And if you're working out the perimeter, you just add up all the sides. So going back to our area, 8 times 10 divided by 2. Well, you can do 8 times 10 first, 80, and then divide by 2. So that's 40. Again, the units are centimetres squared. OK, right, let's try some other shapes. Put that there. Okay, what about a parallelogram? So, that looks like this. Um, and it's called a parallelogram because this side is equal, sorry, it's parallel to this side. And this side is also parallel, but parallel to this side. Okay, so if these dimensions were, say, 10 centimeters, if this sloped one was, say, 6 centimetres, and let's say the vertical height is 5 centimetres. Right, again, there's a formula that you need to know, and that is area of a parallelogram is base times height. That's it, it's the same formula as a rectangle. And if you'd like to know why that is, well, you can prove it mathematically by imagining cutting this little bit here off. So if we cut this bit here, which I'm colouring in blue, we can actually fit that perfectly into this gap here. And what we'd be left with is a rectangle. And the dimensions of the rectangle would be 10 by 5. So Going back to our original parallelogram, if I rub some of this out, it may be a bit clearer for you. We need to work out the area, so it's going to be area of 10 times height. Again, we've got a choice, 6 or 5, and again, we must use the vertical height, so please remember that. So that's going to be 5. So 10 times 5 is 50, so that is 50 centimetres squared. That's correct. 
Okay, um, there's another shape that you might need to know the area for, and that is a trapezium. So, a trapezium is a four-sided shape which contains two parallel lines. So this line here is parallel to this line. Okay, so let's put some dimensions on it. Let's have 8 meters here, 12 meters here, and let's have a vertical height of, say, 6 meters. Okay, now there is a formula for area of a trapezium, which you will need to remember, and that is area of a trapezium equals half a plus b in brackets times h. So what is a plus b and what is h? Well, a is this top distance here, b is this bottom one, and h is your vertical height. So let's substitute those numbers in. So I've got half. Now instead of writing a, I can write 8. And instead of b, well, that's 12. Times and my h, my height, is 6. So this is a good idea here, showing you're working out. And now I need to um, do the sum in the brackets first, because that comes before any other sum when you're looking at the order of doing calculations. So 8 plus 12 is 20, times 6. Now really, you can get rid of these brackets here by just multiplying. So this is the same as half times 20, and then still times this 6. Now you can put your, this in your calculator if you want to, but you could also do it without by working out this sum first. So this is half times 20, which is the same as half of 20, which is 10, times 6, and then that's easy, 10 times 6 is 60, and we're working in metres, so this is 60 metres squared. And that's correct. So that's that's it for working out the, uh, the main shapes that you need to know in Year 7 and 8. If you've studied circles, or want to find out the area of a circle, that's perhaps a little bit more tricky, that's a level 6 topic, and you can check out a video I've made on circles and pi uh, for more information about that. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.